Okay, uh, welcome back to our channel. Um, we're going to do 7.3 Ready, Set, Go, number five. And it's asking us to find a sequence of transformations that will carry a triangle RST onto R prime, S prime, T prime. So <clears throat> the first thing that I notice, and I'm just going to kind of like trace it just so you guys can see my triangle. The first thing that I tend to do, I don't know why, but it seems like I like to translate first. So I'm going to translate first and I'm going to literally translate him so that S is on top of S. Okay. So that's the first thing. So <clears throat> my directions would say something like translate. So point s is on s prime we use this word coincide so you could say translate s so it coincides with s prime okay the next thing that i would do and i can't show you this is i would rotate it i actually can rotate it but then i would rotate it i would rotate it so that r oh i should have labeled that sorry here let's do this s r t so then i would rotate triangle r s t so that s r coincides with s prime r prime and if you notice um i put little hats on them because that's what i do now if i could do this i would but i <clears throat> i can't rotate my figures on one note so i'm gonna draw my figure out if that makes sense. So I'm going to rotate S T R so that it is sitting now on top of R S. Does that make sense? So now this, this right here is R and S, right? And then this goes this way. Oh, I, this is going to be pretty bad. Sorry, guys. This is going to go here. And this is going to go here. Does everybody see what I kind of did there? Could you ignore the pinkish and just focus on the blue? So what's the, my last step? What is my last step going to be? Yeah, very good. Reflect. I'm going to reflect um, triangle RST across, um, hold on, S, R, right? So now it's just going to go reflection and then it's going to look like this, right? Do you see how that works? <clears throat> this isn't the only way to do it. <clears throat> but I don't know the angle of rotation that I did when I went from, in the dark blue stuff, when I went from the pink to the blue. I don't know that angle of rotation. I could figure it out, but I don't need you to figure it out. I just, I didn't know that angle of rotation. So I can't really say, I mean, I guess you could say something like rotate triangle SRT so that SR is parallel to R, R prime S prime. I guess I could say it something like that, but that's, that's weird. I mean, not so bad, right? Because if you did rotate it first, it would have just looked like this. Uh, again, this is hard. You guys will see what I'm trying to do here. So if I did rotate it first, it looks like that. And then I would have translated it and then I could have reflected it. In general, I like to translate first. I like to get a point on top of another point. Then I like to get a rotation so that I get a segment on top of a segment. And then I like a reflection to get the rest of the guys on. If I need a reflection, if not, then I just leave it. So any questions on this one? So I want you to try this one. What would you do first? You're, you're trying to get SRT onto S prime R prime T prime. Okay, so go ahead and try this one and see what you guys get. All right, so if you were going to do this one, right? 
what would you first do? What's the first thing that you guys said that you would do first? Someone said translate. Okay, I'll take translate. Someone gave specific like number directions. You can also do that. So someone said translate. Um, so it said X minus um, eight comma Y. And you could do that. Um, you could also write translate. So S um, and S prime coincide. Coincide means meet. So if I was to do this using my tech, it would look like this, right? Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, you're having problems today. Let's try this. Okay, there. So then I translated eight. What are you doing? Oh, I guess I can copy it. Okay. Here we go. We're translating. Oh, funny. It did not translate the whole thing, but okay. So there, I translated it eight units to the left. And then what would you, would you do? Very good. Very good. Someone said reflect. What? What are you reflecting? Triangle. And then again, this would be S, T, and R. Right? Reflect triangle STR across what line or what segment? Across S prime T prime. And that's it. Right? You guys all comfortable with that? And then, so when I reflected it, now he's down here and now we're all good. Okay. So whenever you're doing this, I like to translate first. You don't have to. You could have reflected first. I think one of you said reflect it and then I'm going to translate it, which would have worked, right? Because if you reflect it first, oops, yes, oops, sorry. You don't know what we're doing right now. Let's try that again. Here and here. If you would have reflected it down and then translated it across, that, that works too. No, it doesn't matter. Um, the order in which you write triangle STR right now doesn't matter unless you're writing a statement about it. Right now, we're just going to reflect that triangle. And that triangle has three names. Triangle STR. Um, actually, more than that. STR, TRS, RST, and then the other way. RTS, TSR, SRT. So he has a lot of names. Lots of nicknames. Good question. How do I know how to write it by? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. All right, very good, very good. Any questions on this, guys? So when you're doing this and you're trying to figure out your sequence of transformations, um, I tend to translate first, but that's just my preference. Okay, if, you've, if you saw, no, first I got to reflect it down, that's fine. Um, rotations for me <clears throat> always tend to happen after I've translated it, so I get one point on one point. Right. So if you watch how I did this one, I moved it so that I had a matching point and then I then I rotated it. So then I had a matching side and then I reflected it. So then all everything coincided. Right. All right. So with that, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. For